In today's video, we will see how to set up default information for handling request forms that can be sent out from Leon. The configuration of the handling requests is found under Settings – Handling Requests. In the Settings tab, we can set up some general information. Operator ICAO is set when we first create your account, so here you can just double check if it's correct. Here's the name of your company. The test mode is useful to test the functionality before sending actual requests. This way the requests will be sent to your own email address instead of the actual handler. In the airport directory you can set an approval date and here you can set a notification to be sent out in case of expiry. Matching flights. It is possible to send a single request for multiple flights if they are close together from or to the same airport. Leon matches the flights automatically. This setting includes options, which are not confirmed flights, in this function. Here we can also set up what triggers handling status change. So for example, if we make any changes to the PAX number, the handling status will change to a red question mark and require to send an update. Below we set the default emails for the request form. Make sure the email from is in this exact format, including the special characters. Otherwise, the form will not save properly. Here we can enter some additional information and some default hotag and footer details to be included in each request form. They can be modified on an actual request, but if you need them each time, this is where it's set up. Sending rules allow to disable sending handling requests for particular sales or the entire fleet on specified airports. To do that, we select the aircraft or leave the select option for all fleets, specify the airport, send yes or no and the order on the list. The higher on the list, the more priority the rule has. These rules will make the handling request status not applicable. Requested items. Again, default items can be edited at any point and that's set for the whole fleet, but if specific tails have specific requirements, you can insert those here and those will have priority over this one. Same goes for billing information, that's also a part of the handling request form. Now that we have everything set, we can go and test the functionality out. Handling is found in the checklist. If we have a favorite handler marked in the airport directory with the star, it will come up automatically, but you can select whichever you like or even add your own ones in the airport directory. And now we save. Here we have the handler's information and the default items. To remove the handler, click here. Okay, now we can send a new request. Remember, we're in the test mode, so we're good to play around. If the belt's not here, the request is going to the handler, so make sure the settings are correct. Okay, so we have our request form, the email specified in the settings, the subject is always generated automatically, matching option, we can link the other flights Leon matched or leave it as none. And here we have the actual form with the status of new request. The form includes the schedule taken from the timetable and the information specified in the settings. We can edit the form, we can upload some additional files or attach documents. Once we're happy, we hit send and here's the email including the PDF attachment. Now we can see the status has changed to requested. Together with the slot, Leon assumes you have reserved the slot separately as well since the handling is requested. If anything changes on a flight, like for example the PAX number we talked about before, the handling status goes to question mark and we can send an update. Now the form gives us the status update and the changes are shown in red. We click send update and the status is back to requested. 
If in a rare case it is required to send a cancellation, for example we decide to go with another handler for some reason, we change the handler, save, and now we have a new request again and you can send the cancellation to the previous one with the status cancellation and the new request to the new one. We can send both or untick one if necessary. We're back to request it again. And in the show history, we have the journey of our handling request. New request, then the update, then we cancelled and send a new one again. The history tab is always available in the top right corner. Okay, one additional thing to mention is that it is also possible to send requests via My Handling from Leon. In order to integrate your account with My Handling, go to Settings, Add ons. Find my handling on the list, edit, switch on and enter the key provided by my handling. If you don't have one, please contact my handling and request the integration access credentials. Once that's done and the integration is in place, the handling request form at the airport serviced by my handling will be sent using my handling application. The process is the same, only some conditions apply. For the details, please visit the section in our online manual. Ok, so that's it for the handling request configuration and functionality. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please visit our manual or contact our support team.